hello, 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 everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I am Jay Lee. This is Jay Lee's Corner. This is my review for Ambition, Season 1, Episode 6. Okay? I hope everybody's having a great, well, Wednesday. Let's hope that y'all get this on Wednesday. We shall see if YouTube doesn't be jerks about stuff today. Okay? But it's like 2.30 in the morning on Tuesday night early Wednesday morning but that's neither here nor there okay if you have not done so already stop what you doing like the video okay I say this in every video now like the video because it lets YouTube know that people are actually watching our videos like your favorite YouTubers videos okay hit the like button Thank you very much. Okay, do not forget to also go ahead and subscribe to my channel and become a OJ Bird. Okay, da 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 da. All that good stuff. Y'all know it's late now. I won't be yelling because I know my neighbors up, and it's sometimes weird. Here's my yelling. You know what I'm saying? Stuff at night, so we're not gonna do that. But again, become a OJ Bird, and you know, let's just get to this video. I think I'm tired. I might just also just need some watermelon and a little bit of sleep or whatever. But you know what I'm saying? We're going to get through this thing. We're going to get through this thing. Anyway, so we see that Damien is still stalking Amira and she don't even know it. Okay? She is sitting in her office, man, her own business. And he come walking in like, hey, Amira, get your ass out of my office, bruh. This would have been my response. Okay? But she's like, why are you here? Like, you cannot be here or whatever. I'm like... Bruh, you real stalker-ish. And I'm like, Amara, why ain't you saying, leave me be, get away from me, you know what I'm saying, go do your job, let me do mine, okay? He like, you know, I just can't let you know, whatever. Like, we can work some cases together or whatnot, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't mean you want to have this no harm, you lying. Yes, you do. You diabolical, okay? All up through your soul, okay? Anyway, it's like, oh, you don't mean it's no harm? Okay, well, go work back at home leave this place and leave me be okay because we are done like why are you in my face why okay he like look you know what i'm saying hopefully we can work some cases we can be colleagues and nothing more okay because you know that's all i want you know what i'm saying just for us to be working together he is a bad liar, but a good liar, a bad liar, because you shouldn't be fucking with her. A good liar, because she don't, I'm like, how are you, ain't you an ADA? Ain't you like a detective of some sorts, okay? District attorney, you don't see a lying man when he lying to you, girl? Amara, don't be blinded by them devilish eyes, girl. Pay attention, now, nah. Okay, so she later on calls her boss in. She's like, hey, you know, I think that you told, you know, Damien about one of my cases or whatever. I don't want to work on any cases with him. Like, do not put him on any of my cases. Like, you know what I'm saying? We just need to be separate. She's like, Amara, like, what's, 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 I need, is, am I missing something? Like, what's going on? Amara was about to tell her, was going like, look, something happened back home, okay? And, and as she's saying that, Damien walks in real stalkerish because how would you even round my way, bruh? Where's your office? Is it around here? No. Get your ass over there, bruh. How do you, why are you popping up like this, okay? Again, he's crazy and deranged, okay? He walk in and say, yeah, some stuff happened back home. We, we work great together, whatever, and we saw some cases. We were great work. That ain't what she was going to say. And Amara just didn't say nothing. You too soft spoken okay i would have said first of all damien please leave my office i do not want you around me okay please leave and let me talk to my boss um so the boss like you know what i'm going i'm just gonna i'm gonna leave you guys alone or whatever so he like i know you're not about to just ruin our lives and our careers you know what i'm saying for what you know what i'm saying i need you to kind of just move past the past i can't because you in my face bruh okay i would have told him, like, stay away from me. Like, the fact that she has not really said, you know, stay away. If you're here, fine. You don't want to leave, fine. But I need you to be, don't come talk to me. I don't, nothing. I, I don't, don't ask no care. If you mean me no harm, then be able to work in my same city, even in my same office. And don't say shit to me, okay? That's it. You need to say that. That's what I would have said okay because he is all I, I, my first response to him would have been after the boss walked out why would you even around my office and listen to my conversation <sighs> blinded by the penis 
So we see Stephanie go see Greg Peters. I don't like Greg Peters. I don't like the him and Stephanie Hume saying bump uglies at the, on the last episode or whatnot, you know. And she's like, you know, everyone thinks that you're just a, a thug in a suit. I mean, not no thug. We like him saying he dirty. This filthy, in my opinion, or whatever. But she like, you know, you need to do some rebranding because, you know, if you want to get this airport concession, you need for people to have a different mindset for who you are. And so she gives him some follow whatever about things he need, need to do to change his image or whatnot. And then I'm like, why do I see something that's coming up upon these two? And when she first got there, she was acting as if, well, I don't know what you mean, what happened last because she walked in, he said, you know, oh, you're back for seconds. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm like, y'all just so nasty. Just, just so nasty, okay? Old Robin Givens. Anyway, so, when she about to leave out, because she had told him, like, you know, if you want this airport, or, uh, airport concession, this is what you need to do. And when she leaves, now he come up behind her. Mm-hmm. It's, oh, you want some of my chocolate? Yeah, I got a whole sweet tooth. I say, this... Who came up with these lines? No one says that. That's just, girl, I got a whole sweet tooth. And here she goes, well, lucky for you, the candy shop's open. And she unzip her skirt. I'm looking like, oh, my God, just stop it. Just cut it out, okay? And they up there doing it in his office. I'm like, first of all, the way y'all was on that door, someone should know it was a struggle, okay? Something going on in there. Somebody called security. But I digress. Now, we go see that Peters then goes sees Evan, okay? Because, again, um, Stephanie keep, keeps promising him things that Evan don't fully know about or whatever. So, Peters goes to Evan and say, hey, I want that airport concession approval in writing. He was like, fuck me, not on my watch. I can't do that, okay? It's to me, you know, bells and whistles or whatever. The most I can do is I'll, you know, have people know that you're application should get special attention but i'm not putting nothing in writing and you shouldn't you don't put nothing in writing because it leads back to you and you don't want to do that you don't want to do that so you know he like i don't know what my what my wife promised you but you know what i'm saying i ain't gonna do it or whatever you know um and you better leave my sister alone and leave our restaurant thing alone or whatever because if you don't we're gonna have some problems problems i'm like this whole thing between Peters and Evan to me is just a little bit nasty because Peters know he won't get his wife or whatever. And I'm like, y'all just going back and forth or whatever. And I'm like, it's just too much. And then, because if you don't stop fucking my family, I say, well, at least Evan stood up for his sister. Because, I mean, before when he thought Peter did something, I mean, he went and said something, but he didn't say enough, in my opinion. So, as they kind of just face to face, you know what I'm saying? Because they both, you know what I'm saying, puff their chest out or whatever. Stephanie walks in, and this time, her skirt is all the way zipped. And then, what did I walk in on? Your lover and your husband arguing, okay? Mm-hmm. I mean, because I'm like, she cheating on her cheating husband, so we can't be upset. But I'm like, it's just, Peter just seems so nasty. Well, Bella ain't shit either. Mm-mm, ain't shit either. Anyway, I'm like, you know, her lover walks out, and she talks to her husband. He like, what did you promise him? She's like, look, I just told him, you know, we're going to have to get your sister's restaurant down because he need that hope. Like, like, look, I don't care what you told him. We not closing down that restaurant or whatever. It's, you know, a staple in the community. And you know what I'm saying? I thought you would know that because it's this and it's that. And I'm like, girl, look. Why don't you want to revitalize the neighborhood? He lied because that restaurant don't need to be. He needs to make a, a a different decision, do a whole different plan. That we ain't we ain't selling the restaurant. I got a feeling something gonna happen. He tells her also that look, once this concession is over and done with, whatever I am not dealing with Peters anymore. If you want to stay in bed with him, that's on you. But I am out of this beach. Okay, I don't want to be there anymore. Okay. Like my battery low, Lord Jesus, I need to charge my iPad. Okay. Anyway, so we then see Bella. Okay. Now Bella is at her house. Her, well, her house ain't empty anymore, but she's at her house. She gets there, and Roderick is outside, uh, beaten up and bruised. Okay, because we know Evan and his security guards. Okay beat him up. And he's she's like, Oh my god, who did this? Oh, your boyfriend come over tell you, Evan? Evan did this? He's like, yeah, and I got it all on video. She's like, what? I'm like, Lord Jesus. And then she's like, you know what? He's a very powerful man. I don't, I think you should leave him because what are you going to do? I'm going to blast him on TV. He's just like, I don't think you should do that or whatever, you know. 
But you, you know, you blast. No, she said you blasted him on TV. You should have known that he would retaliate. After all he did to you, and he did this to me, and you're going to try to defend him. I'm just saying that he's just powerful. I'm leaving. Don't leave. Let me nurse you back to health. Bella is so playing both sides. I, I, look, Bella need to die. And I mean that in the most humane way possible. Simply because I don't like how she's playing Roderick and she's playing Evan against each other. Because at the end of the day, you was fucking one of both. P- period. And Ro- and that's the thing. Roderick don't know that Bella lying to him about the relationship between her and Evan. And I feel like once he finds out, he may be the one that kills it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, it's just too much. We see a quick little thing with Rondell. Rondell gets a visit from Kent. And no congressman is a congressman. Cons- Councilman Kent, okay? Her new little boyfriend. And he like, look, you know, first he came in there licking icing off her fingers because she was making a little cake or whatnot. Oh, I don't want to get this icing on your suit. He's like, oh, no problem. And look, I said, did you just lick her fingers? How you know they clean, bruh? I mean, look, I'm just weird about anybody licking anything off of anybody if they did not just see them take a bath or a shower, okay? Cause, um, how do you know she didn't just pick her fingers? Because that cake could be tainted, too. Oh. Oh. Anyway, well, they're a cute couple. But, you know what I'm saying? He lets her know that it's a workshop coming to Atlanta. It's in every, like, in different cities every year or whatever. But this time is there. And he like, look, you know, I got you these tickets or whatever, but you really need to be there because there's all these people who have connections. If you really want to do this thing to revitalize the neighborhood, you know, you have to have connections with these women. You need to go. It's just a whole bunch of stuck up women. He like, look, I know that, but again, this is what you need to do. Okay, well, fine. But you driving. I'm like, okay, drive her, brother. Drive her there. So we then see at the house, okay, Amara. And Titus at home, just sitting down on the couch, or whatever. He go Titus. He still worked there. She's like, what? Yes, he still worked there, whatever. Titus is pissed. Titus is pissed at the sheer presence of Damien because he in his bones, okay, and all the bones in his body, he feel that he's up to some bullshit. And even though I feel like Titus is, you know, pushing his anger, his aggression, his frustration towards Amara, and he should not be because Amara did not bring him there. Even though it was her fault because she was him in the first place. But again, it's not her fault he did. It's Stephanie's. Stephanie brought him here purposely to do exactly what's going on. And Titus is just you getting angry at Amara for something that she didn't currently do. Okay? Y'all have moved past her cheating. If you move past her cheating, you cannot get re-mad at her because the person she cheated with transferred to her office. Okay? And if you don't trust her, then divorce her, Titus. But calm down. Okay, well, you, you should quit your job because he's here on some bullshit. I don't trust him. You know what I'm saying? I do know he's, he's crazy. He has issues. He's the cause of any issues. He's, uh, she like, look, you cannot allow him to get between us. Well, well who's for that? And I'm like, okay, we didn't, now you didn't forgave her for the cheating. Nah, you can't, you can't, you can't, you cannot bring up old stuff when you have already told a person that you forgive them because if you do, you was lying and didn't forgive him in real life. Okay? And, you know, you need to get rid of him. She's like, I can't force him to do anything. I can't do that. You know what I'm saying? I, we, look, he doesn't matter in our lives. I just want you. Well, well, quit your job. She's like, I'm not quitting my job. I cannot. I work my ass off through the job. I cannot believe that you would ask me to quit my job. Oh, oh, so you picked your job over me? I'm like, Titus. Again, Titus is taking all his frustration out on Amara, and she did not do anything currently okay so he kind of calmed down when he said look i just want you all to myself okay i just want you to me you know you was mine she's like you have me i'm not going anywhere you do have me i'm not with him and i'm like it's as if he just assumed because he's around she gonna cheat i mean she may because she did before but again you can't if you keep acting that way it can push her to do it could you keep accusing her so calm down, Titus. Take a deep breath. Okay, have some really good sex. And then just at every twist and every turn, let Damien know that's your wife, bruh. And don't do it in a way that makes him feel like, oh, I'm getting up on the skin so he keeps popping. No, just be the good, loving husband you are. Okay, just do that. Anyway, you know, we <laughs> somebody commented and said, I love, I laugh every time you say it anyway. And I just realized how I say it. Okay, so we do see Marilyn, and she goes to Stephanie. Now, we know Marilyn is the wife 
of the businessman who they want to come do business in Atlanta, okay? And, you know, Stephanie trying to blackmail her um, to get her husband to bring the business there. So she goes to see Marilyn. She's like, you know what, Marilyn? I'm going to let you know that your invitation to the workshop is canceled, okay? I want you off the board. You're done, okay? You cannot just blackmail me. She's like, look, girl, bye, okay? Me and my daughter will be there because if you do not you know, allow us to be there, and then I will let your, your husband know all of your dirty deeds. Like, you know what? You may have the upper hand now, but eventually you won't, and I promise you, I'll get back at you. I'm looking like Stephanie is just getting his enemies left and right, okay? People don't want her dead. They don't want her dead. I want Bella dead. So, I mean, you know, it is what it is. So, she just leaves knowing, you know what I'm saying? I can't do nothing because she has the upper hand, but I feel like you really, it really wasn't a point, and you going over there because, again, she, but again, you can't keep threatening me with the same secret. I would just tell my husband, if you were made woman, if y'all stuff is separate, look, I'm not going to let anybody just kind of pigeonhole me and, you know, threaten to tell, look, if I cheated 30 years ago, oh, well, okay, we had a good 30 years, you better cheat it too. But I'm not going to let somebody blackmail me. I'd rather be single than live under somebody's thumb, period. Okay, I can buy a new husband. Well, you know, just joking. So, you know, we see that whole look or whatever. We see, you know, Amara and her boss talking, and the boss is asking Amara, are you going to the workshop? No, it's a whole bunch of Stephanie's in one room. I don't want to do that. You know, it's just too much going on. You know, these high food women. She's like, well, that's the reason for you to go. You can get more information and kind of figure out what's going on in that whole little genre of crazy folk who got rich and they don't be doing much with themselves. You know, we also see how Bella was asking Stephanie, hey, that workshop, you know, it's going to be all those women of, of, of influence. Like, can you get me a ticket? She's like, no, it's, it's invitation only. I really feel like Stephanie knows something was, was up with Bella and um, Evan. Come on, she can't be that dumb. Girl. Anyway, we then see Evan. Evan has been stressed, okay? He, him and Bella then broke up. You know, he's the, the bull crap with the concession stuff. You know, Peters is all up his ass or whatever. He needs to relieve his stress and be dominated. So, wait, yeah, he with Daffy, the dominatrix, okay? And he's getting, you know what I'm saying, beaten up and, you know what I'm saying, in, in shock with stuff or whatnot. A whole little vibrating shock thing. And they just, well, like, I'm like, what is that? Where you dead from? Okay. I'm just joking. But anyway, you know, she like rubbed it on him or whatever. And she then realized he's not, you know, his member isn't paying attention to him. His member is not reacting to what's happening. And she's like, oh, this seems like something else must be in your mind or whatever. He's like, I didn't come here to talk. If I did, I would have stayed with my wife. And I would have stayed with my husband. Okay. He's like, oh. So the dominatrix is upset because... He wasn't paying attention or whatever. So she leaves him there, okay, gags him with the little ball thing in his mouth or whatever, and just leaves him there. I'm looking like, okay, Daphne. Mm-hmm. But I think that's what they supposed to do. I mean, he like, let me untie me. Daphne, untie me. She didn't. She left him there. So we then see it's a little gala. And all the basically all the females are there. We see Amara, we see Stephanie, we see Marilyn, we see Ronnell, Rondell, Um, Stephanie's mom is there, you know, the the, the, the pure voice is there, you know what I'm saying? The lesbian daughter, the the wife who I believe wants to have sex with Titus. Um, and then of course Stephanie's daughter, uh, Carly. So they're all there together. And just, you know, for the most part, no one likes Stephanie. Okay, no one likes no one likes Stephanie. Amara doesn't, Rondell don't, Marilyn don't, maybe just her mama do. Okay, her, her daughter don't like her. The pure it's just a whole bunch of people who don't like who don't like Stephanie. So Amara do bump with Stephanie mom. Like, oh my god, I thought I hoped we would catch up. Hi. Oh, hi, Amara. A little chit chat, little, little couple sex, whatever. Remember that time on that vacation? Whatever. And my mom, I remember it was right before you stole my daughter's husband. Well, not husband, but boyfriend or whatever. Mm hmm. Tell Titus, I said, hey, I'm a, see, that's a mama. Because even though y'all were good friends back in the day and now it's a mother figure to you, I remember you stole my child's boyfriend. Okay, I remember after all these years, okay, 
And so, I remember like, mm-hmm, like mother, like daughter. But I can't blame the mama for, for 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 remembering that she's supposed to. She's the mama, okay? So we do see Rondo and Mara, who you know they friend, they friendly, you know, bonding, you know, walking around, whatever, drinking here and there, because they both hate Stephanie. Um, we do see Stephanie has been her same rude sassy self like oh we're all here together Rondell I did not know that you were working the event I wasn't I ain't I'm invited here okay oh all of us lying sisters or whatever you know it's just amazing oh except you Rondell because you didn't go to college I didn't because I was too busy working to pay for your husband's college and law school fees I said well bitch okay let her know what you was doing all of them do you know what I'm saying and then she kind of shoot a little little shade towards Amara, oh, you got, you drew yourself away from your nine to five, oh, how nice of you, she's like, girl, don't you worry, worry about my nine to five, because, you know, everyone does not get a job handed to them, like, your father handed you your job, I'm like, okay, we're reading for filth, and they just don't like her, it was, uh, they just don't like her, even Marilyn just stands there, but she, they all hate it, y'all should all team up, Y'all have enough information to take the whole family down, but y'all ain't talking. That's the problem, okay? So, we do see at the house, Bella with Roderick again or whatever, and he shows her the recording of what happened between him and, and Evan. And, you know, he wants to play on the show. She's like, I don't think you should do that. Like, we can get some money for this. Again, I don't want money. I want to make him pay. I want to embarrass him. Oh, uh, on the television. But we seen earlier in the episode that Evan got a call from Roderick's bosses apologizing to him for what Roderick did on the TV show. So, you know what I'm saying? Roderick, like, you know, this is power. You know, we have leverage, okay? We can do whatever for this. And I want to, you know, just embarrass him. And Bella, like, no, we should use this leverage, okay, to get what we want from him, okay, and not just embarrass him or whatever. So, he like, I don't want money. I want revenge. I'm like, you, you crazy, Roderick. Mm-mm-mm. He then get a phone call from his bosses letting him know he's fired, okay? So, he now cannot use the, fo- the footage to, you know, play on the air. Maybe y'all put it on YouTube. I'm like... Brother, just cut it out. No, we should work together. We should work together. Let me do what I do. He then gives the information to Bella. I'm like, mm, mm, mm. They just want some money. Some whole money. We see Carly. Carly is being played by that Le- is it Leslie, Lori, the the poor, the pure for daughter. You know, they sitting around a little event or whatever, laughing and drinking or whatever, acting a little friendly. White woman, mama, come up. Oh, it's so great that you know, even though our families always bickering and fighting, that you two can just get along. That's what racist people say. Anyway, Carly walks away. The pure for mama says to the pure for daughter, You need to keep working at Lancaster Brat and get as much information as you can. So, again, Carly is getting played by Lori. I'm looking like, mm. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, it's just so weird. So we then see them two, Carly and Lori, in the bathroom, canoodling, you know, kissing and hugging or whatever, all on, all on each other. And I'm looking like, do y'all not realize that y'all are in a, a woman's bathroom at an event full of women? Meaning someone could come in there and catch you. You should have went into the men's bathroom. Why? Because there are no men there. It's a woman's uh, cons- uh, uh party or whatever like there will be no men who can catch you why would you be the one star but i digress so dana bathroom gets kissing the hug, hug and kissing or whatever and we then see stephanie walk around and Marilyn spills or tosses red wine oh on her white dress oh i'm so sorry i didn't i didn't see you you know it'd be a shame for you to have to leave early because your dress is stained. I am like, come through, Marilyn. So where does Mar- um, Stephanie go? To the bathroom. Okay, and what does she do? She's in the bathroom, mind her own business. And who walks up off the stall with a whole hand on her titty? It's her daughter. Yes, Stephanie Kett is her daughter. Come out the bathroom with a pure foy. And pure foy homegirl had her hand uh, on her daughter's boobs. I was like, she was like, oh. <sighs> Mom, I can explain. Don't. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to talk about it at all, okay? And then, you know, uh, Lori leaves out. She's like, look, I don't care if you're gay, straight, bi. I don't care. 
well, you, you don't care, Mom? She's like, no, I will love you anyway. You can date whoever you want, male or female, but you can't date that bitch, okay? You can date anybody else except her. They are evil. We do not like them or whatever. Mom, I don't care about no old food. She loves me. No, she don't, dummy. She don't love you, okay? She don't love you, okay? And even if she grows to love you, it's from deceit, Okay, mm-mm, 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 okay, don't do it. Now, go out here, fix your face, and we'll talk about it later. I'm looking like I like that Stephanie and Lisa, like she would not disown her daughter. She don't care if you gay, but you can't be fucking my enemy's daughter. You can't do that, okay? That's just, that's just, that's just bad business. It, it, just, it really, really is because, girl, she playing you, okay, wholeheartedly playing you. So, we then see Stephanie is looking for that damn... Uh, Lord, okay, she walking through, and she follows her to, like, the, the like, a, was she leaving? She was going somewhere, and Stephanie, like, you know, stay away from my daughter, you whore. I added the whore, okay? Well, whatever, you're just upset, that because we see her mama see Stephanie follow her daughter, so she walked to, what's going on here? Oh, Stephanie's upset because I gave her daughter more orgasms than her husband can give her. I said, bitch, what? Stephanie was like, bop, slapped her. I was like, yes, yes. Slapped her because she's tricking, she, she, she tricking your daughter, okay? She's tricking. Her. I can't believe you slapped me. Now, for a second, Lori ha- was about to hit her back. She was, she, cause, cause she's playing the daughter. But when she saw Carly, oh my God, I can't believe you slapped me. I'm looking like, whoa, fake and phony ever. Fake and phony coming on. Oh, you know what? Let's all calm down. Let's calm down, okay? I'm sorry. I just, you know, I was upset. No. You, you bitch slapped, okay? All, all through the face, okay? All in the face. Let's all go to the bar and have a drink, okay? Let's all just have a drink. And they all go to the bar. And have a fucking drink. And kind of agree to disagree and, you know, be whatever. But Lori didn't say, I'll see you later, Carly. No, you won't. Not my daughter. But they don't say anything. She's like, look, mommy, I love her. I want you to the bathroom. I'll talk to you later. I'm looking like, no, her daughter is really dumb. And I mean that in the best way because she's just innocent and dumb. But at the same question, I'm looking like, the first vagina you mess with is a person who you know is your family's enemy. Why would you, are you so like, that's just common sense. They're like, I don't want to mess with her. She seems sneaky diggy, okay, sneaky diggy. And I'm like, it's just dumb. So we then see somebody's drink being made. Okay? There's a whole drink being made. The bartender turns around and somebody walks up and they, they drop two little droplets. Drop, drop. And we don't see who do it. And we be like, well, who drink is this? Who drink is this? It's spiked with something. Okay, it's probably some dang on um, eye drop stuff. Let's say if you drop two drops, I, I heard if you put eye drops in someone's drink, it poisons them. And it was clear stuff. I'm like, maybe with some Visine. But we see a Stephanie's drink. And she takes the whole drink. She downs it. And as she's drinking it. Everyone who hates her is looking. The gay, the gay daughter, okay, the crazy mama, you know, her her friend who she's who she's blackmailing, you know, um, Daphne, cause Daphne's there too. Like we see all of this happening, we don't know who it is who spiked her drink. Mm-hmm. Who can it be? So we then see Bella who texts Evan saying, you know, your son needs you to come over. He come over. Joaquin, Joaquin. Joaquin, where's, where's Joaquin? At mommy's thing, why the fuck, why you calling me over here? Because, you know, look, you know, Rod recorded you, beat him up. No, he didn't. We have all the, the you no know, security cameras. Got his watch. She then plays in the video. He's like, hmm. And don't think about, you know, trying to hack his iCloud, you know, because we're a team now, you know. We're both after you now. So, and we want 750 thousand dollars he's like <laughs> you know like what happened the last time you threatened me well i don't care because we am, i have right now i'm not alone anymore girl but he is he there right now no he can murder you he can, he can murder you right now okay he's like look you do know that this, this was for you too because you know you had sex with me as well i was a young impressionable 
girl and this Me Too movement, I would definitely get sympathy. See, that's what, see, that whole thing about people who use the damn Me Too movement to get ahead when it wasn't no Me Too moment, okay? Oh, half a ass, Bella. And we see that, you know, <laughs> um, he just walks away like I'm going to have to murder her. I'm going to walk away and leave her front door open because I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Bella going to get herself killed. Okay, all up and through. So we see a couple of different things. We see Rondell talking to Kent. Like, you know, hey, I seen this is the party. I seen Stephanie talking to Daphne about some concession stuff. And I'm my like, girl, you talking to the whole constant, he gonna realize some things is afoot, okay? He like, Oh yeah, what else happened? So we see the whole thing. We then see Amara Talk to Titus. Like, you're like, yeah, I think, you know, Daphne's connected to something with Peters because we saw this and we saw that. So I'm going to get to the bottom of it. I think they're all connected. Now, as her and Titus are sitting on the couch, looking all lovey-dovey, hugging and kissing, we see that someone is watching them. Not from the window, not from the door. No, this fool, Damien, has cameras all through their house, in the living room, in the hallway, in the bedroom, in the bathroom, everywhere. I'm looking like... Should I? I need to go look. In, is, is the cameras here? I need to see if my apartment is booked. It looks like he had cameras everywhere and was sitting there watching them. And they have no idea. This is why Titus is upset because I feel like it wasn't that him and um, Amara just had an affair. It seemed like he was obsessed with her and was stalking them, and now he's doing it again. So I'm like, okay, this is why Titus is so pissed off, because it's not some little normal, normal, oh, he like her, and he around. Mm -mm, he a stalker. A whole stalker. And then lastly, we see Stephanie talking to Carl, my like, girl, Carly's daughter. Okay, don't be dumb. I love you, but don't be dumb, girl. You do not want to deal with with the damn pure for daughter because they're evil, okay? They are they they are killers. Something to do with the drug that her sister died from came from their company. So that's another ad epic. I don't she has nothing to do with Auntie's death, Mom. I I love her. She like, look, as long as you are under our roof, you will abide by our rules. Well, I won't live here anymore. And then she walks away. Now the whole time they're talking, Stephanie keeps coughing. She's coughing. She takes a little bit of drink. She, cause she, she's poisoned. Okay. And when Carly walk away, I'm going. I won't live here. And she walks away, closes the door, and says, "Wait, wait, wait." And she just falls. I was like, oh, "Stephanie, wake up, girl. You okay, girl?" And she passed out. I like Ambitions. It's a really, 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 really good show. So do not forget to like this video. Like it right now. You should have already done it, you know, 30 minutes ago. Anyway, I'm done. Peace.